Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, March 5th. It's the second week in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 70, and Romans chapter 2, verse 12 to 24. Please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columbus. in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault. In our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Most High. Psalm 70, and please recite together with me. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Most High. Let them be ashamed and thwarted that seek my life. Let them be turned back in confusion that desire my harm. Let them retreat covered in shame who jeer at my lot. And let all that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste to help me, O God. You are my help and my defense. O my God, do not delay. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Most High. A lesson from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 2, beginning at verse 12. All who have sinned apart from the law will also perish apart from the law. And all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law. For it is not the hearers of the law who are righteous in God's sight, but the doers of the law who will be justified. When Gentiles who do not possess the law do instinctively what the law requires, these, though not having the law, are a law unto themselves. They show that what the law requires is written on their hearts, to which their own conscience also bears witness. And their conflicting thoughts will accuse, or perhaps excuse them, on the day when, according to my gospel, God, through Jesus Christ, will judge the secret thoughts of all. But if you call yourself a Jew and rely on the law and boast of your relation to God and know his will and determine what is best because you are instructed in the law, and if you are sure that you are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness, a corrector of the foolish, a teacher of children, having in the law the embodiment of knowledge and truth, 
You then that teach others, will you not teach yourself? While you preach against stealing, do you steal? You that forbid adultery, do you commit adultery? You that abhor idols, do you rob temples? You that boast in the law, do you dishonor God by breaking the law? For as it is written, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Make haste to help us, O God, for we rejoice in your love and salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever.